Hello everyone. And as I said, today I decided to stand up and have this little tiny microphone, but have a holder so I could feel that this is a little bit more of the uh, pre-pandemic times. Uh, first of all, my name is Rasa. I would like to welcome you very much in this 37th Universal Toastmasters Club meeting. And uh, uh, welcome to fellow Toastmasters and our new members as well uh, of the Toastmasters Club. And of course, our lovely guests. So not everyone is here at the moment yet, uh, but we are recording this meeting, so I'm sure it's not going to be lost. Now, as a, a surgeon at arms, one of my responsibilities is to make sure that this meeting runs smoothly and that we are adhering to three rules. So first of all, please put your phones on silent so you're not going to distract other speakers or yourself. And if you are not speaking, please put your microphones on mute. And the last rule is to not discuss free topics, which is sex, politics and religion. So please refrain from discussing that throughout our meetings as well. Now, to talk about our direction and a bigger goal and why we're actually meeting every second Friday, uh, I would like to read out loud the mission of the club. So let me just do that now. Our club's mission is to provide a supportive and positive learning experience in which members are empowered to develop communication and leadership skills resulting in greater self-confidence and personal growth. So um, this kind of um, wraps up of everything what we are trying to do and achieve here. And now the time came uh, to introduce a person who I personally uh, became uh, very uh, I'm admiring of everything that he said. I always listen because it's uh, most of the time uh, based on a lot of experience and um, uh, always have a wise words to say. So um, this person served as uh, previously served as a sergeant at arms, as vice president of education, vice president of public relations as well. Um, he was part of division team in 2020. <clears throat> also 2021 and just to show the supportive nature of this person he is a coach of professionals in Toastmasters club as well and of course now he is uh, in the role of the president of universal Toastmasters club and i am talking of course about uh, dtm rahim please give a big round of applause and stage is yours thank you very much toastmaster rasa a uh, big round of applause our innovative and energetic sergeant arm she always brings some new ideas today she has brought how to deliver the sergeant arm speech by standing and holding the mic in the hand thank you very much last wednesday i attended one session i was astonished to hear when trainer explain us that she spent 30,000 pounds on her personal growth. It's equal to 153. She's very happy and satisfied with her decision and whatever she achieved because of her this decision. I analyzed myself how much I uh, I willing to I'm willing. <clears throat> spend on me you can think yourself as well how much you want to spend on yourself on your personal growth because it is most important personal growth the best it is saying the best investment you make is in investing yourself okay. i remember one thing the desires without direction is our only destruction. You never reach at any place. So you have to find out your weakness and spend on yourself and improve yourself. And you see that whatever you today, uh, when you will reach tomorrow, it means your tomorrow must be better than today. So invest in you and you will reach to next level. 
With that, as president of Universal Toastmaster Club, I announce meeting to open. We have I welcome all guests and Toastmaster to Universal Toastmaster meeting number 37. We have some guests. I would like to get their introduction. Uh, just their in, uh, their introduction, your name, how you heard about Toastmaster, and what you are looking for by attending this meeting. So I start with Mr. Zafar Khan. Hi. Uh, Hi. My name is Zafar Imam. I am uh, basically in UAE for the last 12, 12 plus years. And uh, with the IT you know, background, uh, in a, one of our group in uh, Dubai, uh, heading the department, you know, uh, for the digital transformation. So the latest thing we are, you know, making throughout the IT stuff and uh, managing a team of around 12 people. So this is my, uh, you know, short introduction, which basically can help you to understand about me. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome to Universal Toastmaster Club. Next person, Mr. or Mrs. I don't know the name. I just guessed this Mr. J Jamil. Jamil. I hope I pronounce your yes, name yes, correctly. Yes, Jamil. Jamil. Yes. Uh, so first of all, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my, name is J um, my name is Jamil Panchal. Uh, I, have, I am bo bottom and bottom in Gujarat, India. I had came to um, in UAE in November 2020 after just completing my graduation. So when I came here, actually I'm a book reader person, means I absolutely love reading. So whenever means uh, I get time on bus, train, metro, anywhere, I will definitely start reading. So earlier, uh, as we can see this, on Instagram, there are too many quotes, right? That uh, regarding self that disappear for six months or something like that. So yes, I was reading books on finance and self-help. help. So currently the book which I was reading is crushing it. So in that, they told us that uh, earlier that uh, when it was uh, this, this Instagram, Snapchat and TikTok, they, they were not in the market, right? So for advertising purpose or self brand purpose, the company used to, means uh, company used to uh, uh, promote celebrities or anyone like that. But this new platform like TikTok and Instagram um, help yeah. many people to means uh, to get Thanks. them in touch with them. So that's why I thought like let's improve ourselves. And this was the group yeah. that I got. And thank you very much for including. Yes, yes, sure. You are most welcome to join us. Yeah. And may I know uh, from Miss Ryan, Ryan, Miss Ryan. Hi. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Yes, my name is Rayeen. Um, I'm actually a program manager at a home services platform called Service Market. Um, I've been working in sales for pretty much all my life. It's been over 10 years now. Um, but then I, I felt the need to work on my um, public speaking skills. Um, so I decided to enroll myself so I can practice it, um, meet lovely people like yourselves and improve on this um, particular weakness of mine. Um, and I think it's, it's a great start. Thank you for having me here. Thank, thank you very much. Uh, may I know from Libra? Hello, good morning guys. Uh, my name is Libra. I've been in the UAE for more than 10 years now. Um, I have actually, <laughs> I'm not very good at public speaking. And um, so I, I, the reason I, I'm, I'm joining here is like, you know, I'm trying um, this option. So let's see how it goes. Sure, sure. Toastmaster is a platform where people will come with broken English and become experienced speaker. Uh, can I know from Mr. Swamp Nal, Swamp Nal. Can you introduce yourself, Mr. Swamp, Swamp Nal? Okay, we will come back to him. Uh, Miss John, John, welcome back. Can you introduce yourself, Miss John? Yes. Good morning, everyone. I'm John. 
I'm very happy to join you again because I feel I am quite a bit impressed by our team how they work together. So I want to join again to to see uh, to see maybe I will register after this time. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Binya. Hi, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Biniam. I'm originally from Africa. Moved to Dubai a couple of months ago. Uh, I just opened my own company. So when I see this group, uh, to, I'm interested to learn to become an effective communication as a business owner. So thank you very much for having me. Thank you very much. Uh, Ms. Bushra, can you introduce yourself and welcome back to Universal Toastmaster Club? Bushra, Sheikh. Okay. May I know from Kevin, Mr. Kevin, can you introduce yourself? Okay, guys. We will come back to him, no problem. So, what is the Toastmaster? I want to share my screen here. Can you see the screen? Okay. What is the Toastmaster? Toastmaster is a non-profit organization. It was founded uh, in October 1924 by Dr. Rolf C. Samadli. Uh, this organization helped uh, us to improve our public speaking and leadership skill. Currently, there are 364,000 active members in 16,200 clubs in 145 countries. How it's work? Members are most important asset in Toastmaster. 20 or more than 20 members form a clubs and clubs are part of areas and areas comes under division and division form district and district goes to region and then Toastmaster International. Why we are encouraging the people to join Toastmaster? There are some benefits. As I mentioned, it will improve your public speaking skill. The second most fear in world is public, is public speaking after their death. But here in joining Toastmaster Club, you will improve your public speaker and you uh, speak and you will overcome on this fear and then build your leadership. You start your leadership journey by providing a small feedback in evaluation and doing timer roles or grammarian. So it goes to district director and Toastmaster International Director. And sure, it will help you in your personal life in your business that how to motivate the people and encourage the people how to give them constructive feedback then networking if you see in our club more than six nationalities are part of our club it's called networking in these people belong to different fields profession you will uh, get believe networking is net worth. Then maximize your potential. Everyone have unique potential, but by, by joining Toastmaster, when you become, a, either you become an experienced speaker or great leader. So you know that your potential and then you maximize your potential and build your confidence and self-awareness. I am the person when I joined Toastmaster Club in 2017, I remember I hardly spoke 30 seconds and whatever I spoke, no one could understand. But I'm still trying and I'm growing and that what uh, you can see and you can feel. It's called self-confidence, self-awareness. I'm much aware about my potential that where I am strong and where I have to work on. Why we are saying Universal Toastmaster Club? Why we are different? Why, what things we are doing different from others? 
one is individual orientation session once you become a member our team will approach you and ask you when you have time to we will conduct individual orientation session with that person where we help uh, those member new members to get their goals and work with them and also help them to uh, choose their path and effective mentoring system and same times we assign the mentors and we ask the members which mentor you want to be uh, your coach or mentor and more chance to get stage time we always prefer encourage the new members to come on stage take the role take a speaker's role so they can improve and encourage to take challenges and test their leadership skill uh, our it's come more than 60 persons they are new members they just joined 6 month ago and someone joined just a, one, a month ago so we always believe to bring a new people and change give them challenges to test their leadership skills not only that we help the each one on their each step to toastmaster journey with that now it is time to call the person we call this captain of ship then toastmaster is a tmod of today meetings so we welcome our new gavelier toastmaster amna she is there from pakistan thank you very much hi amna the person is very dedicated passionate and one wise toastmaster in district 105 and great leader he serve as club vp club president area director division director and district logistic manager currently he is part of c district cgd team whenever this is introduction what i know i asked him yesterday that is there anything different which i don't know he say okay you know do you just say whatever but i i am sure there is other things also but i know he is very wise person whenever i i need some advice from him i just call him he explain and i got the confidence i take the decisions and it's go very well please welcome the tmod of today meetings dtm rupesh tana thank you thank you club president distinguished host master mohammad rahim rahim for the wonderful introduction thank you so much theme of today's meeting is 6th august and i request you all to kindly support me in having an engaging meeting will i have your support please raise your hands thank you thank you some of the members and guests present here might be thinking that what kind of theme is this and what this toastmaster of the day is going to bring on this friday morning relax all your such questions will be addressed soon during the meeting now tell me do we have anyone in the room present here whose birthday is today 6th august do we have anyone in the room whose birthday abdus your birthday my birthday was yesterday okay be let it happy birthday thank you anyone who was born today okay friends today's date is a historic date reason being thing of theme of the day is 6th august which i am presenting and you all are part of this meeting i congratulate you all for making for this meeting please give a big round of applause for yourself some of the some of other, some of the other historic events took place on this date are on 6th august 1806 after 1000 years of holy roman empire came to its official end when emperor francis ii of austria put down the imperial crown bolivia got independence from spain today in the year 1825 and after 300 years of british rule jamaica got independence 
on the same day in 1962 back near near to our home where we live presently in uae on this very day 6th august 1966 sheikh zayed bin sultan al nahyan became the ruler of abu dhabi most important of all events and what mainly we look forward to discuss today is on 6th August 1945, at 8.15 a.m. local time, the United States detonated an atomic bomb over the Japanese city of Hiroshima, which killed around 140,000 people. At least 70,000 people are believed to have been killed immediately in the massive blast which flattened the city. Tens of thousands more died of injuries caused by radiation, poisoning in following days, weeks, months, and years. Now I have a couple of questions here for you. As I requested, please let us have an engaging and interactive session. Who was the United St President of United States of America when Hiroshima was attacked with nuclear bomb. I have the answer you wanted. Why not? President Roosevelt. Anyone else would like to attempt? Okay. Harry S. Truman was the 33rd US president who served the United States of America from 1945 to 1953 was the serving president. Now I have another question. Who was the Prime Minister of Japan when Hiroshima was bombed or was attacked with nuclear bomb? Who was the Prime Minister of Japan? Okay. Kentaro Suzuki. Kentaro Suzuki was the Prime Minister of Japan when this attack took place. He was the Prime Minister of Japan from 7th April 1945 to 17th August 1945. During the course of the meeting, we will discuss more on this. Now, coming on to the agenda of the meeting, we, we will have three segments, prepared speech session. We have three wonderful speakers lined up for the meeting. We will have table topic session, and then we will have evaluation. In this endeavor, I am going to be supported by Toastmaster Russia as our timer. Toastmaster Abdus as our word master, Toastmaster Lisa as our grammarian, and Aha Counter and Distinguished Toastmaster Hariharan as our general evaluator. Please give them a big round of applause. Now, may I request Toastmaster Rasa, who is an energetic and enthusiastic personality, has recently joined our university, universal family and is serving as club serving our club as Sergeant at Arms to give us a brief introduction about our role in today's meeting. Toastmaster Rasa. Hey, hello again. So from now on, I'm going to be a timer. And uh, for all speeches, the time is five to seven minutes uh, length. So once it's going to be five minutes, I will put green screen. Um, six minutes, I will put yellow screen and seven minutes, I will put green screen. 30 seconds, then you will have to wrap up for your speech. Now for the table topics is one to two minutes. So one minute, one and a half minutes and two minutes. Again, 30 seconds, you have to finish up. And then for the evaluation speeches, this is uh, two to three minutes. So two minutes, two and a half minutes, and three minutes will be red screen, 30 seconds to finish up again. And that's it. Back to you. Uh, Thank you, Toastmaster Rasa. Thank you. Yeah. Now may I request Toastmaster Abdus, who is a mechanical engineer by profession, a fantastic speaker who won the best speaker award when he delivered his first speech in our previous meeting. And he promised me that he is going to win the award in the next meeting as well while he will deliver his second speech. Can you please brief us 
about your role as a word master of the day? Hello, everyone. I'm going to present to you a new word, and uh, we are trying to use that word as much as possible in this meeting. So the word that we are going to use is, are you able to see the screen? No, uh, I, will, I will call you for that. I will, I will invite okay. you for that. Don't present the word. Okay. What should I do then? So you will be presenting a word and uh, you will keeping a note of that, right? Uh, yeah. You will keep account of that. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Abdus. You can stop sharing on the screen if you are sharing. Now, may I request Toastmaster Lisa, who usually fly for Emirates Airline and have specially joined us this morning for a particular reason to give us a brief introduction about her role in today's meeting. Toastmaster Lisa. Yes, good morning all. Uh, nice to see you again. Today I'm going to look on the word A ah, that we use them sometimes as a pausing word. We will try to avoid this word when we speak and I'm going to count how many times it will be used. And I will also check the grammar for you. And the results will be shared in the end. Thank you. Thank you, Rosh Lisa. Thank you. Now, before we initiate prepared speech session, let us add a word, new word in our vocabulary. And to add the word of the day, please join your hands together and welcome a budding Toastmaster who has joined our Toastmaster fraternity a couple of months before only and is a self proclaimed champion. Toastmaster Abdus, please welcome Toastmaster Abdus. I've shared you the word of the day in the chat section. So the word of the day is crux. It's basically the most important point. The meaning is the most important point. So let me use this word first. The crux of every Toastmaster meeting is to be better than what we were yesterday. It's to be better than how we were before the meeting. So I would like to invite Toastmaster Iram to use this word. Today's word of the day is to use it more often in our daily vocabulary and daily life. Oh, that was a nice one. Inshallah, we are going to use it as much as we can. And I'm going to count it. And after the meeting, I'm going to let you know which person has used it how many times um the cross thing in toastmasters meetings is to improve yourself and your communication skills that's right that that is the reason why we are here for okay let's begin with the meeting now and i'll be counting it let's try to use this word crux as much as possible thank you thank you toastmaster abdus thank you so much now, before we initiate prepared speech session, I have another question. Can someone tell me the name of the pilot who flew the aircraft from which bomb was dropped on Hiroshima? You can bluff it also. It's a, there is a no minus marks. It was a uh, you was just like how Rupesh Tanna is now flying us over. <laughs> okay, the pilot who dropped the bomb was Paul Warfield Tibets Jr. Paul Warfield Warfield Tibet Jr. flew Boeing B-29 Super Fortress Bomber named as Enola Gay, which was named after her mother's name, Enola Gay Tibets. Now, let us commence prepared speech session. Before I invite the first speaker, I would like to request his evaluator, Toastmaster Archa, to read out the objective of his speech. Toastmaster Archa. Thank you, Toastmaster Rupesh. Good morning and a very warm welcome to my fellow Toastmasters and distinguished guests. So, the 
Toastmaster Ashra's uh, speech is from Presentation Mastery Pathway. It is his level one project one, uh, which is evaluation and feedback. It's a second speech in that project. The purpose of the project is for the member to present a speech on any topic, receive feedback and apply the feedback in a second speech. The purpose of the second speech is for the member to demonstrate that he or she has applied the feedback received from his first speech. That is the purpose of uh, Toastmaster Russia's project. I wish him all the best and give it all your best, uh, Toastmaster Russia. Over to you, Toastmaster Sitesh. Thank you, Toshmaster Archa. Our first speaker of the day, Toshmaster Ashraf Ali, is an electrical engineer. And today, he is attempting project one of level one from Path Presentation Mastery. Please put your hands together and welcome Toshmaster Ashraf Ali. Over to you, sir. Assalamu alaikum, dear Toshmaster members. Good morning to all of you. It's said by a good motivational speaker, Jim Rohan, that you are the average of five pupils you spend most time with. Them. We have observed three different types of pupils in our surroundings, top-like pupils, medium-like pupils, and bottom-like pupils. As we all know that, it's very difficult to get adjust with the pupils. But once adjusting to them, then it's very difficult to get rid of them. Because being adjusted to them, we can come to know that what type of people we are standing with, what type of people we are having a relationship with, and what type of people we are having our business with, and what type of people we are surrounded. In terms, in order to know all these type of people, it's said by a, it's said by someone that in order to know the people, uh, for for that I have example to mention you that. Uh, to know the friendship of your friend, start traveling with him. You will come to know what is best, uh, what is best in your friend. You would, uh, you, you would like to observe. So all these things be, uh, all these things be, uh, will be possible only when you adjusted with the pupils. You go along with the pupils. Otherwise, it's not. It would be not possible to judge the people by uh, by looking their faces. So we can judge the people by having in relationship, having in uh, uh, communications. So for that, I would like to speak about three categories of people. In first, I would like to speak about bottom line people. In our surroundings, these people are observed to be not sincere with their destination. They are not interested in their field. They don't think about their future. They don't think about their They are lazy people. They can have only lame excuse to play. If someone approach and ask them, what is the secret of your failure? They will reply to say, they will blame to say, this is all about circumstances, which does not support us. Being a student, he will reply to say, stuff was not quite well. Being a businessman, he will blame to say that marketing value was not quite well to run the business. For that, these people are burdened to our society. That's why every people keep distancing from like these people. No one want to adjust with like these people because they are useless people. So for that, these, these people are not successful in their life. In second, we have medium-like people. No matter, they are sincere to their destination. They are interested with their field. They work very hard. They have keen interest to achieve the target. But the thing to know is that once some challenges, difficulties, barriers, and restrictions come in their way, they run away. They don't stay at their position to meet the challenges, to face the difficulties to overcome the restrictions, barriers, what come in their way. This is because, because of lack of training. It is said by someone that along with the education, it is necessary to have a good training session so that you can change the situation. Whatever, what kind of situation come in, the, in around you, you can change the uh, situation. But what happened that these people, let them change with the with the circumstance. They don't change the circumstance. Rather, they change themselves with the situations. For that, no people want to adjust with the like these people because if someone 
approach to ask them can we do this task they reply to say that you cannot do this because if you go to do this you, what if you cannot do you can uh, what if you fail you, what if you can't attempt it so me they are afraid of failure they are afraid they are afraid of failure for that they are not successful in their life in terms of seeking of jobs in terms of having interviews they are afraid of failure that what if we fail to seek the jobs what if we fail to have a good interview for that they are not successful in their life in third we have positive like people we can say top like people these people are in our surroundings are observed sincere to their field and they are very hard worker they have keen interest to achieve their targets no matter what kind of challenges difficulties barrier restriction come in their way they embrace them they go forward and let the let change the situations they settle the problems they do not change with, with the changing of the situations they these are the people who settle the problems not for themselves they even think for other people they can if someone approach to ask them can we do this task they will say heartily you can do this task because you are uh, fit for that one you can do that no one can do but you can do that because if you attempt that one you can do so it is said by a good motivational speaker roy bent surrounded yourself with positive people who believes in your dreams who encourage your who encourage your idea support your ambitions and see best in you for that if you want to be a successful person if you want to achieve a peak level then you must adjust with the positive people these people will let you know that what is the right thing for you what is the right rate for you these are the people we can do something to to be to be touching with them so for me before joining this universal club i was nothing once joining this universal club i have learned a lot of things i have learned how to speak i have learned how to communicate with other people and i have learned much things this is because of positive people along with i i i keep i keep my surrounded and for that it is said by a good motivational speaker this he is nothing but he is the universe he is a member of universal trust mark club he told me you should not lose your hopes because hopes are something you hope for best he told me you should not lose your tempers you should come forward and attempt by attempting for any things you will achieve your target this is what i have learned being a part of this universal trust mark club and I, with that i would like to end my speech session and over the and hand over this mic to tmod rapesh tana thank you Big round of applause for Tosh Master Ashraf Ali. Thirty seconds of silence for kindly give the feedback to Tosh Master Ashraf Ali either using the Zoom chat functionality or on a private WhatsApp message. I request you all to kindly share your feedback with the speaker because that is what we are looking for. Now, before we invite our second speaker. I would like to request his evaluator, distinguished Toastmaster Ahsan Javed Khan, to read out the speech objective. Good morning, everyone. And uh, the speaker, Muhammad Toastmaster Muhammad Kutti, is going to present a speech of five to seven minutes. The purpose statement of the speech is for the member to practice writing a speech with an emphasis and adding language to increase interest and impact. The timing is five to seven minutes. Good luck, Toastmaster Muhammad Kutti. Thank you. Thank you, DTM Ahsan Javed Khan. Our second speaker, Toastmaster Muhammad Kutti, is an accountant by profession, is in UAE for past 10 years, is a Toastmaster for past two years, and is a member of two clubs and serving as a sergeant at arms of professional Toastmasters Club. Is going to deliver project one of level three from the path effective coaching. Under a thunderous round of applause, please help me welcome Toastmaster Mohammed Kuti.
you are on mute sir please unmute the night was extremely dark i couldn't see even a speck of light in my vicinity the electricity had went off and it was raining cats and dogs i was back from evening classes from a nearby village and was walking through a narrow lane in the middle of flooded paddy fields all i could hear was the whirling wind and chirping crickets croaking frogs and howling dogs from distance it was such a horrible night dear toastmasters and guests good morning how many of you think that our childhood experiences no matter how much terrible they are becomes so nostalgic and so nice to us when we are grown up for me when i think of my childhood it comes to my mind those lines by the famous singer jagjit singh दौलत भी ले लो शोहरत भी ले लो भले छीन लो मुझसे मेरी जवानी मगर मुझको लौटा दो बचपन का सावन वो कागज की कश्ती वो बारिश का पानी माई वेल्थ टेक अवे माई फेम टेक अवे माई यूथ एस वेल give me back my childhood those pep, those rainy rainy days and those paper boats after a long time i had a chance to be in my village for more than 6 6 months so i had the experience of a whole summer and a monsoon but now what experience is somewhat different from my childhood those paddy fields soil filling and construction of homes and buildings have shrunk their areas free flowing water is being checked by crossing roads and bridges in 2018 and 2019 our state of kerala in india witnessed unprecedented flood in consecutive years this year the rain came a month earlier in may but in june and july we lost those umbrella breaking heavy downpour and in august i could see any drizzle falling on us on our ways and in october i think those those thunderstorms and those thunders will be just a dream whatever the reality whatever the reasons are the climate is changing the experts may say so many reasons deforestation soil erosion global warming whatever they are the climate is changing and our environment is having a greater effect for this so called developments we have when we look back to our past we had those days we we can we could expect the rain in certain days and we could expect summer in certain days but the condition has changed 
for such a short period of um, 30 or 40 years, the condition has changed dramatically. This is what I have experienced in this vacation, staying in India for a much longer time. Still now, I would like to go back and have those days of paper boards and rainy weather. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Big round of applause. Thank you, Toastmaster Mohammed Kutti. 30 seconds of silence for providing feedback to the speaker. Please use WhatsApp or personal chat functionality on the Zoom. I urge you all to kindly provide feedback to the speaker. Okay, before I invite our third speaker of the day, I would like to request her evaluator, Toastmaster Saima Rauf, to read out the speech objective. Uh, thank you, Toastmaster of the day. The purpose for the speech for my target speaker today is um, for her to identify her primary leadership style or styles and to share some aspects of her primary leadership styles or discuss leadership styles in general. Timer, please note, the timing for the project is five to seven minutes. Over to you, T.M. Modi. Thank you, Toastmaster Saima Rauf. Next month, our third speaker, Toastmaster Beat Rice, is going to celebrate first anniversary of her association with Toastmaster's fraternity. Today, she is going to attempt project one of level two the, from the path strategic relationship. Please put your hands together and welcome Toastmaster Beat Rice. I'm sharing the screen. I hope everyone could see it. Yes, we are able to see it. Thank you. That's great. Okay, just one second. Timer will start the timing once you start speaking, okay? Sure, thank you. Dear guests, fellow Toastmasters, a very good morning to all of you. Friday is supposed to be a rest day for all of us, but it's very impressive to see all these old and new faces of my screen who took great effort to get up early and, for, and prepare for this meeting with burning desire to learn more. It is indeed true that leaders are made, they are not born. Today, I want us to be a little interactive, so I've compiled a collage of images of different people from past and present, and I'd like you to guess what they have in common. So here is the image. And of course, um, as of the moment, you could guess there's no right or answer, wrong answers here. So could anyone tell me? Uh, they were all statesmen? Yes, correct. Yes. So. These people, they're icons, church leaders, presidents, heroes. But all of them, they are leader. And of course, a great communicator. Lately, I have become obsessed with watching historical documentary series on Netflix, such as How to Be a Tyrant, Rise of the Ottoman Empire, Age of the Samurai, and the last czars. All of them comes from different backgrounds, family and status, but they were shaped from factors of desire, ambition, skills, and most of all, experiences. These figures, I've seen them rise and fall in power, all because of their leadership style. And being able to watch these shows made me realize 
the impact and the importance of understanding and identifying techniques of leadership in order to succeed. So together, let us discover the eight types of leadership and uncover their weaknesses. So for the first one, we have the bureaucratic type of a leader. These leaders are decision, where decisions are absolute. They make these decisions for the team. However, they have a weakness. And they are not very effective when they try to lead with highly skilled individual. That is because all ideas will clash, but he wants everything to be in absolute power. Next, we have the authoritative kind of a leader. And this kind of leader often has more experience and knowledge over those, who, those of the team. Yet, they're very less ineffective when they need explicit guidance. Next, we have the innovative type of a speaker. This type of speakers encourages innovative and productive ideas from their team. However, they are not ideal leaders when the risk taken makes members very apprehensive. Next, we have the pace setting who focuses mainly on the productivity, yet they're not ideal for a long very period of time. Then we have the democratic type of leaders who always relies on the consensus decision-making. However, their weakness is their resource of time is limited or doesn't have the knowledge and expertise that of the team. Then we have the affiliative leader. This type of leader is collab collaborative and focuses on the emotional needs of the team. They are less effective when the leader is having difficulty giving negative feedback. Then we have the coaching. Coaching type of a leader motivates each of their members by challenging the individual. They're not ideal when the team members are adverse to change. And last but not the least, we have the altruistic leader. This leader uses empowering and ethical approach. And their weakness, they can be ineffective if not given sufficient time to apply a long-term perspective. Well, you have to know your strongest route as a leader. style to one another to another knowing how to switch gears depending on the situation is very crucial so i ask myself what type of leader am i as someone who doesn't have extensive experience in leadership how would i know yet i also believe that leaders can come in any circumstances may it be small or big as long as you take any leadership. So, I have used some of my few encounters in the past and in the present, in, in, may, may it be in school, in my job, or in the house. So, where I have to encourage and where I need to step in and take the lead. So, when I was answering this questionnaire, my results came out to be democratic, altruistic and affiliative type of leaders. True to the results, I always strive for inclusivity. I want everyone to join in the conversation, be in it. And as well as I believe in everyone's potential within and the power of motivation that gives to a person. So which leadership category do you think do you belong to? Or the more pressing question is, do you think you can be a leader? Which style, wherever which style you may belong to, it is important to know that these styles are not bulletproof of success unless you have mastered the essential qualities of an effective leader. And this effective leader must be open-minded, optimistic, demonstrates integrity, leads by example, and of course, a great communicator. These qualities are not born innately, I tell you. It is developed over time, under pressure, 
circumstance, and constant practice. Remember, every successful leader started from the bottom. Polish your leadership skills today and become a great one tomorrow. Thank you and back to DTM Rupesh. Big round of applause for Tosh Master Beat Rice. 30 seconds of silence for providing feedback to the speaker. I encourage you all to please share your valuable feedback with the speaker. That will really help us to take our journey one level above. Now may I request our timer, Toastmaster Rasa, to help us with the timer report, please. Okay, so the first speaker, uh, Toastmaster Asraf Ali, had a speech with a time of 7.08, so seven minutes, eight seconds. A second speaker, uh, Toastmaster Kuti, five minutes, 21 seconds. And the third speaker, uh, Toastmaster Bear, seven minutes and 12 seconds. So everyone is qualified, I believe. Okay, so I believe we will soon uh, share the link. Yes, right? yes. Okay, yeah. so distinguished Toastmaster Mohammed Rahim will be sharing a mentee link to vote for the best speaker of the meeting. So I request all the Toastmasters to cast their valuable vote guests who are not Toastmasters yet uh, may refrain from voting. We, and I would also like to announce that we will have a three minutes of break. So we will resume at 11.05. Uh, DDM Rupesh, uh, can you please request all our audience to switch on their camera so we can take the picture? And then we'll... Super, yeah. May, may I request everyone to and let's switch on your camera so we can take a snap. We can take a picture of this historic meeting, 6th August. Okay, so we are on a break. So uh, no need to be on silence mode. You can uh, switch on your, mute, uh, on, on your mic and you can take the opportunity to do some networking. Uh, while, while DTM Mohammed Rahim takes the picture. Okay. DTM Essen, can you take the picture? He's master in taking picture. Uh, oh, really? I was ready to uh, pose with a cup of coffee. I pose? <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Take picture, please. Uh, huh? Okay, I will do that. Okay. Yes. Ready? One, two, three. Yes. Done. Thank you, guys. Thank you, distinguished Toastmaster Hassan Javed. We have two more minutes of our break time. So I hope uh, all the all, all audience have given their valuable feedback to the speakers. If not yet, then kindly use this time. If you have any questions, please feel free, feel free to ask. We will resume in next two minutes. Uh, DTM Iram Hello. Yes, who, who is this? Yeah, this is Surendra. Uh, Hi, Surendra. Can you hear me? Yes, Surendra. Good morning. So, uh, uh, good morning. I just just uh, joined uh, this group. Just wanted to explore what is the process to become a uh, Toastmaster. Great question. The, the Great group, question. Uh, this group looks interesting. So if someone can brief me. Yes, you are in the right platform. And uh, who would like to answer this question? Distinguished Toshmasha Rahim, Distinguished Toshmasha Ahsan Javed, or Iram Bidvi? We have the VP membership, so we will give the honor to Toastmaster Bia. Ah, Toshmasha Bia. Okay. Yeah, she is uh, the captain for this. Okay, uh, Mr. Surendra, uh, Beat Rice is our club's vice president membership. She will be okay. she will be answering your question now. Beat Rice, over to you. Do you so have contact you, sir, after the meeting. Sure. Yeah. 
you have one minute beat rice if you want to expand anything now you can yes. expand or you can take take the your his mobile number you can share your mobile number please unmute yourself yes hi um so i'm the vp membership of uh, universal toastmasters club and i was caught okay. up really for this but anyway uh, i'll be sharing with you my number on the screen but just a brief uh, uh just a brief uh introduction of toastmasters we are a non-profit organization wherein we try to help each other develop our public speaking skills so um Right now, I'm turning one at Toastmasters, and it's a great opportunity for me. I have learned a lot, and I've become, uh, I have mastered some skills. So um, it is great to be here, and we treat everyone as a family. Um, basically, um, if we try to do it, we have two meetings every month, and uh, we do that every Friday. We have roles if you become a member of the group wherein you'll be able to uh, take a speech and do some uh, exercises like what I have done earlier. So for more information, um, you, could, uh, you could drop your mobile number so I could talk to you more about Toastmasters. And, uh, yeah, so can you share you. your number so that I yes, I'll drop? Yeah. Yes, sure. Yes. Yeah, please share your number uh, in the chat with everyone so all the guests can note down your mobile number. Yeah, yeah. Yes, okay, so I, I have my mobile number written on the screen. So I'll be sharing with you more information. We could talk about it. And you could also share your number so I could directly contact you. Oh, sorry. It was on the direct message. Sorry. Here, I'm gonna. DTM Mohammed Rahim, uh, the voting has completed for the best speaker. DTM Rahim. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Please proceed. Great. Yeah. Great. 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 Okay. So, welcome back after the break. I have a question for all of you. Can someone tell us the code name of bomb which was dropped on Hiroshima? Fat and, bomb. Sorry? Fat. Uh, 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 man, uh, short man and fat boy. Okay, both are incorrect answers. Anyone with the correct answer? It's the oh, little yes, boy. Yes. Yeah, well done, VP membership. Those must be right. Huge round of applause. The award goes to you. Okay, now to conduct the next session of the meeting, we are proud to have our area 56 director and our immediate past club president amongst us. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and welcome our table topic master of the day, Toastmaster Mida Tiveki. Thank you, our immediate division director, DTM Rupesh, for welcoming me on the screen. Good morning, everyone. Are you enjoying your Friday mornings with Universal? Yes. Awesome. So as the table topics, yes, that's what we are going to do. Well, table topics is a crucial element of Toastmasters. It allows us to think on our feet and improve our improvisation skills. Honing this ability is important, not only for becoming a better speaker, but also to help us improve our communication skills in general. Just imagine that you step outside or maybe at work, your boss just comes up to you and asks you a question. Are you prepared to answer that question immediately? Well, this is your chance to improve your improvisation skills. Well, yesterday is gone. Tomorrow has yet to come. We only have today, so let us begin. Now, before we begin, there are certain ground rules and um, rules, yes, for table topics, which is that I'm going to display the timing mechanism for the speech is should be one minute to two minutes. So you need to speak for a minimum one minute to qualify and at one minute, our timer will display the green color. 
at yellow they will display the at at 1 minute 30 seconds they will display the yellow color and at 2 minutes she will display the red color and after 2 minutes you will have 30 seconds of grace period to wrap it up so you need to make sure that you speech is between one to two minutes and after two minutes you will have 30 seconds grace period to wrap it up and if you exceed the time unfortunately you won't qualify for the voting so just ensure that you finish and wrap it up within the time frame are you all set to go there is nothing wrong and nothing right it. it's all about sharing your thoughts when i provide you a topic so are you set all right then so my first topic is how about i ask toastmaster iram rizvi our vp education would you like to give it a try yes area director all right then so for you the topic is you can't fake passion i'll repeat you can't fake passion over to you toastmaster iram thank you table topics master toastmaster nidhar you can't fake passion and i would say that yes i tried i tried a lot when i got married i got into a family that would have meat with vegetables so it's like you know spinach with the meat and there will be spinach with the chicken or there is um, what you call zucchinis and these things and i used to fake that i like it and i did it for quite a while whereas at one time i started putting the vegetables on the side and it it opened up that i don't really like many of these uh, peas and many of these mixtures with the meat and that's and i was trying to show them that you know wow it is amazing and i really like it and it's such a good blend of lentils and meat together it's not for me and that's when i learned that you know whatever you do in life if there is something that you you are not passionate about you're not really liking it you're not happy with you cannot fake it for long it shows in your eyes it in the end of the day when you have your meal and your meal is your worshiping time and then you don't feel too good about it and then i had that inside me that you know why i didn't tell them that you know i don't like it or probably i could have something separate so i learned that and now what i do is that i make the things that are favorite to me i don't care if they mix it and if they mix it i put it aside and i have my own wonderful chicken karhai without any mix or mutton karhai without any mix and i'm passionate when i eat i'm a food lover i eat it with a lot of my heart i have tears in my eyes at times when i eat food because i at times i have realized i love food more than my husband because it won't break my heart and so please whatever you do whether it's food whether it's public speaking whether it's friends do it with passion otherwise it will drain you it will show in your eyes and it won't make you happy over to you madam table topics master thank you this master iram that's not fair it's a mouth watering speech and you made us feel like we have to jump after this meeting to a restaurant nearby or pressurize our moms to cook the dishes that you just have named <laughs> thank you so much for that then now may i we i see so many guests in the house how about libra are you there with us would you like to give it a try um it's my first time so i would like to decline for now um let me just um no problem for now yeah. no thank problem you. you're welcome How about Juan? We have seen you in our previous meeting. Would you like to give it a try? Hi. Yes, please. Okay, great. So Juan, for you the topic is the key to success is self-management. I'll repeat. The key to success is self-management. Over to you, Miss Juan. Uh If I hear right, you ask me the crux of the success is to uh, self-management. Thank you. Mm. First of all, I really agree. Uh, uh, agree with it. Uh, I feel the world in uh, the world like you see actually is a reflection of the inner world. Um, 
if you can, if um, if your inner world is organized, is man managed well, and the reflect uh, the uh, external world that is a reflection of the inner world is also will show uh, will show you a very peaceful and harmonious world. Mm. For example, <laughs> wow, it's a little bit challenging. Um, um, uh, like during the pandemic, um, and uh, I once I fall into, I feel everything around me is a chaos. I lost, uh, I lost control. Like I can do nothing. I, I so uh, I was uh, depressed and anxious. Um, so it takes time uh, after I learned to be uh, mindful to uh, to. To lay, to be present on each day, and uh, to focus on what I eat, what I speak, what I uh, what I do every day. Then I finally to find myself. And uh, when I looked outside, I feel actually it's uh, the outside world still there. They don't change anything. They change just because of my perception of the everything be behind it, uh, uh, around me. So I, when I find my inner world, when I manage myself, then I find my uh, external world. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Joanne. So I would say that the crust of your speech was that we should not give up on ourselves and keep trying. Well, 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 let's move ahead. How about we ask our new addition to Universal Toastmasters Club, our new member, Hossein Manan, are you there? Hey guys. Hi, would you like to give it a try? Sure. Okay, so for you, the topic is, nothing is particularly hard if you divide it into small jobs. I'll repeat. Nothing is particularly hard if you divide it into small jobs. Toastmaster Hussein Manan. All right. Uh, hi, everyone. My topic for today is table topic for today is nothing is particularly hard if you divide it into small tasks. Uh, I, I am someone who has always faced issues with uh, fulfilling uh, something which I start. I don't know if you guys have heard, if you guys have taken any personality tests. There are 16 different kinds of personalities according to the Myers-Briggs types. So I am an ENFP. So the, what ENFPs are, people who are very uh, uh, shifty, I would say. They like to do a lot of things at one particular time. If they start something, they'll, they'll start something different and then they're going to get bored by it and then they'll start something different. So when I was younger, when I was 15, 16 or in universities, this didn't uh, cause an issue for me, all right? Because I didn't have much responsibilities. It was not that big of a deal. And I just used to enjoy doing uh, whatever I felt like doing at that particular time. But once I started working, this actually became an issue for me. So I'll tell you one instance, it was a new job I was enthusiastic, I was excited, I was, uh, my mind would fill this, all these ideas, what you can do differently. And I was always going back, like, why are you doing this? Why can't we do this? Why can't we do this? So then what I used to do is I used to knock on my uh, boss's cabinet. Uh, I go in and say, hey, I have an idea. How about we do, how about we implement it? And he's like, it's nice. Okay, let me know more about it. That would be done. Then I'll go back up. Then I'll have something else. I'll again go back and knock on his door. Oh, I have this idea. That's something. He'll be like, oh, that's very nice. Thank you. And then at one point, he got so annoyed by it. He told me, Hussein, listen, I'm busy. You can't just, I like your ideas, but you can't just come in and keep telling them to me. Put it into a presentation. Put it into a nice document and come back to me. So that is when I realized that you just cannot implement things uh, by thinking about them or just because you have you have this feeling that okay I want to implement this and then you're going to go about it and that is where I learned that I need to start putting my tasks into a proper formatting and then I started researching more about it and the best way I found out to fulfill your goals is to break them into smaller bits 
so what happens is you have a bigger goal you break them into small 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 steps and cumulatively all those smaller steps will help you achieve your goals and uh, i think i would like to also tell you guys of something interesting i've learned that is called the eisenhower matrix so you guys uh, google more about it you'll learn more about it so basically what it does is there are these four quadrants and in this four quadrants you have different uh, priorities so if there is something which has to be done urgently you put it in one quadrant and that is something which has to be done late which is important but it is not urgent you put it in a different quadrant so i started implementing this as well and uh, basically what, now what i do is if i have to achieve any tasks uh, what i do is i'll write that goal down and i'll write down the sub tasks which i need to do to achieve those goals and i also learn this methodology in uh, if you are uh, if you are in it sector you might know of agile so what they do is basically the same thing they have this big program they need to create or some chain they need to make and then they are going to make smaller sub tasks once you achieve them you achieve the bigger goal so that's how i would end to like to end my keynote topic thank you excellent attempt to smash the sense so to sum it up your story it says that net if you want to try to eat the elephant then break it into different pieces thank you so much to master hussain thank you now i'd like to pick someone who is a cheerleader you could see him flooding the chat zoom chat with so many cheering and uh, appreciation messages may i request mr abi to participate in table topics if you're okay with it uh i don't know if i should but uh okay maybe i'll try yeah okay so, so for you the topic is the bad news is time flies the good news is you are the pilot i'll repeat the bad news is time flies the good news is you are the pilot over to you mr abi okay uh okay let's start what i understand from my topic is that time is very important and nobody gives a damn about it and everybody complains about it but the thing is everybody has the same time that is this dialogue we listen from everybody the main point and the main crux of the my topic i would like to say is just do what you have to do have your goals uh, finish them off don't think too much about the past don't think too much about the future just use the time you have and do whatever you can and uh, everything else will follow up so by that uh, what i'm trying to say is you are the manager of your own life what you do how you treat your life is how you are going to uh, get the uh, rewards for your, your actions so how what your lifestyle is going to be how you are going to die also is what i'm going to say because by the end of the time what you do is what will be coming in your mind later in your life and uh, you don't have to have any regrets so be your own fly pilot fly high fly don't fly low but fly high and achieve greatness thank you thank you mr avi for flying high uh, we wish you all the best that you keep flying higher and higher thank you so much now i would like to pick let's see miss surrender surrender sorry mr mr surrender yes for yes for the mispronunciation uh would you like to give it a try yeah sure all right then so for you the topic is never give up because great things take time i'll repeat never give up because great things take time over to you sir right so uh thanks for uh, giving me topic and uh, thanks for considering me uh, uh, the part of this group so uh, this is uh, one of the uh, most important uh, thing for for any uh, human being uh, if you are trying to achieve for anything if you have something in mind so one of the most important thing is the patience no matter what quality you have no matter how passionate you are no matter uh, how how strong you are but if you don't have uh, patience if you don't have uh, 
this ability to wait for a, a right time to come is, is uh, very uh, difficult to achieve any 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 goal because everybody understands that achieving uh, for a particular goal or any good thing in life, you have to a uh, persistent, you have to patience, and you have to be passionate about that goal. So in any journey of achieving a goal, you have to face for the up and down. As a human being, as a nature of any any uh, living uh, creature, so we always attract for the good thing, and we always panic feel panic when we face something uh, difficult in life. So for any great achiever, just look at the uh, biography or look at uh, look at the history. All those big achievements happens with the different stages of the life. So your true strength comes when you, you have a bad time and your true strength come when you have chased anything which is a continuous, which is a persistent. There are a lot of examples in history. You have just go uh, for any, any uh, successful achievers. You will find out that the biggest strength, there are some stages where the person is, is supposed to leave. He, he was just uh, about to leave. But there is a hope, there is a ray, and those things will come from your inner strength. So I relate to the one of the topic which was discussed in, uh, uh, in the discussion. Uh, that's uh, your inner strength, your consistency, and your uh, the strength of your passion, and, uh, and, and your uh, ability to understand the, uh, your, your surroundings uh, and the things which you are planning in mind. So uh, that is it. Thank you, Mr. Surrender, for sharing your thoughts. It was excellent. Now, may I request Mr. V. Ayer, if you're there with us? Would you like to give it a try? Okay, I guess he is busy. How about I ask Rain? Are you there? If I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Sorry about that. Yes. Would you like to give it a try? Actually, it's my first time as well, so I'm I'm just here to like watch and learn. But definitely next time I would I would love to. All right, no problem. Is there anyone else who would like to give it a try? Want to be a daring so Mr. Naveen Kumar, would you like to give it a try? Yes, I see you raising your yes. hand. Yes, yes. Okay, awesome. So for you, the topic is no one is perfect. That's why pencils have... It's perfect. That's why pencils have erasers. Over to you, Mr. Naveen. Thank you. Thank you, Toshmaster, for providing me this opportunity. It is really a perfect example in our life. No one is perfect. Uh, we do make a lot of uh, mistakes, and it is a learning uh, that we need to take from these mistakes, uh, uh, and we should not repeat it again. Uh, so just to take an example, uh, try to, uh, I, as recently I started learning cooking. Due to COVID, it was a lockdown. Uh, uh, where I'm staying and uh, started learning. I make very terrible mistakes okay, while doing the cooking. But when I'm making, uh, when I did it again, uh, it, it was better than what I did uh, the, in the past, actually. So uh, uh, in the first, it was uh, okay, not that good, but yeah, okay, my, you and my parents and my wife started liking it <laughs> now. Okay, they're asking me to cook it, cook it uh, regularly. Uh, so uh, the crux of this uh, topic that was given is uh, okay, uh, in every individual may make mistakes, but we have to learn from it and we should not repeat it. That is the uh, crux of this topic. Thank you, Dr. Master. Thank you so much for attending that. Uh, Ms. Timer, do we have time to take one more or have we exceeded our time? Uh, you're on mute. I think we can take one more. 
Awesome. So is there anyone else out there who would like to give it a try? I don't see what about, what, about, what about Jamil? Jamil, would you like to give it a try? Uh, actually, it's my first time, so I'm going to pass. But actually, I want to have at any, uh, I want means you to give any Toastmaster, uh, any uh, means table topic. So, means I want to know how a to Toastmaster is going to mean a uh, experienced person going to give his representation. So, if it's okay, <laughs> all right, fine, no problem. Uh, we'll definitely pick you next time. So, be prepared. Okay, let me see who okay. I can pick. Toastmaster Zen, uh, would you like to give it a try? Are you there with us? Hello. Would you like to give it a try? Sure. Okay, so for you, the topic is in our togetherness as a team, castles are built. I'll repeat, in our togetherness as a team, castles are built. Over to you, Toastmaster Zainab. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, together we can achieve more. And in this case, we can achieve castles and um, structures and, you know, Burj Khalifa, Burj Al Arab. It's all with teamwork. It's all with togetherness. It's sharing of different talents, different skills that will make, that will make things, um, you know, that is beyond comprehension, something um, we are able to achieve more when we are, when we put our minds together, um, we put our skills and talents together. And for this, um, I can relate to one, um, one, one project in which I have was given. And if, in order to, you know, if you were to do, if I was to do it by myself, it would not be possible. So delegating, delegation, and using of people around you because people are there for a reason. They're there to help you. And you know, being effective in your communication and delegation, you're able to achieve more. And that's it. Um, so together we achieve more, together we're, we're, we're able to make castles, we're able to make great things. Over to you, Table Topic Master. Thank you, this Master Zena. That was excellent. Anyone else would like to give it a try? Oh, before that, Tamara, do we still have time to take one more or should we wrap it up? No, I think we should wrap it up now. All right then, uh, it comes to an end, but never mind. if you haven't attempted this meeting, maybe you can try in the next meeting. So Timer, can we please have the meeting uh, timing report please? Okay, so we had seven speakers, and the uh, first speaker, uh, uh, Toastmaster Arun, spoke for two minutes and six seconds. Second spe speaker, guest Yuan, spoke for two minutes and nine seconds. Third speaker, um, uh, Toastmaster Hussein, speak three minutes and 51 seconds. And fourth speaker, uh, guest Avihi, spoke one minute and 10 seconds. Uh, speaker number five, uh, guest Surendra, uh, spoke two minutes, 41 seconds. And uh, speaker number six, uh, Toastmaster Naveen, spoke one minute and 11 seconds. And uh, the last speaker, number seven, uh, speaker uh, Toastmaster Zainab, um, spoke one minute and 20 seconds. So unfortunately, we will have to disqualify uh, Toastmaster Hussein and uh, Toastmaster and guest Surendra, just for a little bit too long of the speech. All right, thank you for the timing report. The link has been shared in the Zoom chat. I would request everyone to cast your vote. Uh, for this particular category, anyone can vote. You can even vote for yourself and uh, emphasize on the fact that try to vote for the best speaker which you think spoke really well. With that, we are going to wrap it up. And thank you so much. And over to you, to our immediate division director, our Toastmaster of the day, DTM Rupesh. Thank you. Big round of applause for Toastmaster Meda Siddiqui. Thank you, Meda. We will take 30 seconds of time for the voting before we move to next segment. 
So I request all the members of the house to please cast your vote for the best tabletop speaker. Guests can also cast their vote. Okay, I assume everyone has casted the ballot. Now, before we move to the crux of the meeting, that is evaluation segment, coming back onto the theme of the day, that is 6th August, I would like to ask a question. Can someone tell us the names of the Japanese cities which were on the target list for nuclear attack? Can anyone... Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Hiroshima Nagasaki, okay. Anyone else want to try? Thank you, Ashraf. Okay. With, with, yeah, Iram, you want to try? It is, it is the same answer that I would give. Okay, okay, okay. So initially, there were four cities which were on the target list for the nuclear attack. Kokura. Hiroshima, Niigata, and Kyoto. These were the four cities which were on the target list for the nuclear attack. However, based on the intervention of Secretary of War, Henry L. Stimson, Kyoto was substituted by Nagasaki, which was subsequently attacked with the second nuclear bomb in the history at 4 a.m. local time on 9th August 1945. Now, this makes, this makes me ask you another question. Does anyone know what was the code name of the bomb attack on Nagasaki? Beatrice, you nailed it earlier. What about this? Anyone else? Itia Mariaran, why are you so quiet? Okay. In I, because my history has taken a beating. No problem. In the interest of time, let me tell you the name of the code name of the bomb which was used, which was dropped on Nagasaki, that was known as Fat Man. Fat Man. Moving on, as I said Fat now, sorry, Didia Mariaran. Fat man and small boy or tall boy? I don't remember. Yeah, so your answers were incorrect earlier. So I reiterate the same. <laughs> so now, as I mentioned, moving on to the crux of the meeting. I know Tosh Master Abdus is nodding down. So crux, crux, crux. <laughs> now it is time to get the feedback, which is the best part of any Tosh Master's meeting. Our first speaker was an electrical engineer, Toastmaster Ashraf Ali, and today, coincidentally, he who is presently serving our club as club secretary, and she is also serving our area 56 as assistant area director. Please put your hands together and welcome Toastmaster Arsha. Toastmaster Arsha, stage is yours. Thank you, Toastmaster Rupesh. You are an average of the top five people you spend the most time with. Fellow Toastmasters and distinguished guests, what impressed me most about today's uh, speech, that is Toastmaster Asher's speech, was that his speech was a very well-written speech with a great introduction and great body and great conclusion. His topic was a very motivating topic with a great motivational quote in the introduction. That is, you are an average of the top five people you spend the most time with. And I was also very impressed when he used, modulated his voice to, uh, to explain the various kinds of people uh, that is top level, medium level, and bottom level with his explanations. That is top level people, with how they would behave. Medium level people, like if they ask why you didn't get a job, then they would say circumstances didn't allow. Students, if they ask uh, why you didn't do well in your studies, then stuff were not good. 
so great voice modulation and uh, great uh, use of uh, voice clarity, I would say. Another thing which I liked the most about Toastmaster Asher's page was his gestures. He used his gestures to ex while explaining different kinds of people and to enhance his speech in a way uh, so that he could explain it very well. Now we all have joined Toastmasters so that we could find areas of improvement. In Toastmasters Astro speech, what I felt was that um, he could have uh, taken pauses in the speech because that would have enabled the audience to connect more with the speech and to um, connect more with the speech and register his speech better. Another thing which um, I felt about Toastmaster Asher's speech was that he was a bit nervous. Now we all are nervous while giving the speech. I am right now nervous while giving this evaluation sure. because it's my first evaluation. And I would um, uh, that I would like to say is that we all have come to Toastmasters not just to improve our speech, uh, speaking skills, but also to enable each other to and encourage each other to grow in life and to be better uh, public speakers and better leaders in life. So no need to be nervous. All in all, great so topic selection, great uh, vocal variety, great gestures, and he only needs to improve his nervousness, control his nervousness, and take pauses. Thank you, and over to you, Toastmaster Rupesh. Thank you. Toastmaster Archa. Now to provide evaluation to our second speaker of the day, Toastmaster Mohammed Kutte, we have one of the strongest pillars of our club, an experienced Toastmaster, our club sponsor, and our club vice president, public relations, immediate past, Area 56 director and a good friend of mine. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together to welcome distinguished Toastmaster Ahsan Jagh. Thank you so much, Toastmaster of the day, and many congratulations to the targeted speaker, Muhammad Kutti. I can see him on the screen. Wow. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Kutti, for bringing Jagjit Singh in our Toastmaster. So now, since we are universal, you are free to use all the languages you can speak. So let me come to the point. The purpose of the speech was to know how to write a speech in a descriptive language, and you did so well. When you were talking about the darkness, and it was raining cats and dogs, and umbrella breaking drops of water, you took all of us, including the evaluator and everyone in the audience, to your childhood. And that was amazing. You are more confident, you are more calm. I have seen you before, I saw you today, and you did really well. And after the beginning, you took us to flood in Kerala in 2018 and 19. The world is now seeing the pandemic and Kerala, the state has already seen it in 2018 and 19. And then there was conclusion. So a very well done. You have achieved all the objective of your speech. But I'm here to evaluate, to motivate you and take you to the next level of your journey. So let me tell you a few things. In when, whenever we share a story, a story has to have characters. Who is the protagonist in your story and who is the antagonist in your story and where is the climax? So climax was there, it is just the matter of presenting when you were talking about flood in Kerala in 2018 and 19. What you could have used that the entire world is now suffering with the pandemic and the Kerala has seen such, an, such a horrible situation where we lost so much. And what I also would love to see, the expression, facial expressions, which shows a lot. Because a, a speaker has to show it, not to tell it. So that is number one thing. And the second thing which I would love to see you in the future is, whenever you have a speaking slot, try always to, you can adjust it and try to stand up. Because when you stand up, you have more flexible, uh, 
you can, you can use your whole body language, you can uh, use the hand gestures, you, you could put yourself and you can boost your energy while delivering your speech and that could really make a huge difference because when I'm sitting, it is a speech, I'm evaluating, but when I have to deliver a speech, I would rather love to stand up and it will help me when we come back to physical meetings that is going to really uh, value in your public speaking. So the crux of the matter is you have achieved your uh, objectives. You are now very confident. You know how to write your speech. Just two things, more improvisation, more characterization, and always try to bring climax in your story, and then you will rock in the future. So I wish you good luck, and thank you so much. Over to you, Toastmaster, Toastmaster of, the of the Day. Thank you, distinguished Toastmaster Hassan Javed Khan. Now, to provide evaluation to our third speaker, Toastmaster Bit Rice, we have someone special who keeps showering her blessings on me always, keen learner and a great servant leader who is always eager to support. She is a mentor of our club and is presently serving as Area 65 Director. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and welcome Toastmaster Saima Rao. Thank you so much, Toastmaster of the Day, for the uh, brilliant uh, introduction. And uh, I would move my attention to my target speaker today, Toastmaster Beatrice. Uh, Beatrice, I am really awed by the kind of the improvement that I have seen. I remember the last time when you delivered your speech, I was your evaluator, and I was surprised to see that I'm again going to be your evaluator. But today I am thankful that I am there. Uh, you have chosen a very, in the topic that was given to you today was leadership. Apparently, if I look at the objective, and I have seen this topic being covered by so many other Toastmasters, and usually it's very trite and uh, you know boring kind of uh, lecture style. But I was pleasantly surprised when you opened your speech uh, and you shared that beautiful slide with uh, all the leaders, statesmen, um, and uh, uh, politicians over there. But you uh, elicited it from, uh, from the audience. And immediately, all the audience were hooked to your topic. And then I really love the idea because I am also a movie lover. You have mentioned some classic movies and you have connected the topic uh, with that. So I really love the opening of your speech because it was uh, very relatable. It was very entertaining. And it immediately all uh, booked us to your, not in a bad sense, but hooked us in a positive manner. And when I was looking at the other audience at that time, I saw that immediately people were interested in that what was coming in. And I uh, second thing that I loved about your uh, slides were that they were very crisp, very legible, very few data was there. And I have been proclaiming it slides should be. So great work as well for many of us to learn from there. Leaders are made a thorough understanding of leadership styles and very clearly you have uh, mentioned that what is your creative, uh, your leadership styles being democratic, affiliative and altruistic. Well done for that. Um, moving on, I would say that you were very clear, calm, composed and comfortable. So well done for that. And I have seen a big improvement the way you have uh, while taking us through all this journey, the vocal variety, the eye contact, and the audience awareness that you have shown, you have achieved the uh, project purpose. So congratulations for that. But like we always say, there's a room for improvement. The one suggestion that I would give, you were um, taking us through thoroughly from leadership style to leadership. But when you started discussing your own leadership style, I would have appreciated if you had added some anecdotes or references when you said that you are a democratic leader or all too strict leader. So uh, that is the one thing. If you had done this, it would have come to a complete circle. So the crux of the whole thing that you have given us, a take home idea today is polish your skills today and develop leadership style tomorrow. Well done. I wish you all the best for your upcoming speeches. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, Toastmaster Saima Rao. Now may I request our timer of the day, Toastmaster Rasa to present her timer's report, please.
Okay, so um, uh, Toastmaster Archer uh, evaluated in uh, gave evaluation speed, uh, speech in three minutes and 18 seconds. Uh, Toastmaster Javed in three minutes and seven seconds and Toastmaster Saima in three minutes and 25 seconds. So I believe everybody is qualified. Thank you, Toastmaster Rasa. Soon a link will be shared on the Zoom chat box. Please vote for the best evaluator. Only Toastmasters can vote for the best evaluator. Guests, please refrain from voting. We'll take 15 seconds and then we'll move on to the next one. Okay, now I believe everyone has casted the vote. Now may I request our word master, Toastmaster Abdus, to share the crux of the report, word master's report, Toastmaster of Crux Abdus. Over to you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, TTM Rupesh. So, as I have noted it down, TM Rasa used it once, TM Iram used it once, DTM Ahsan Javitsa, he used it once, and then DTM Rupesh, he used it seven times, and uh, of those seven, he has used three times just by saying crux, 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 to, just to improve his count, I know that. Then uh, TM Middat, she has used it twice. Then Joan, uh, that person has used it once. And then guest Abhi has used it once in uh, table topic speak speeches. And uh, he has used it five times in the chat. Okay, and then guest Naveen Kumar, he has used it twice. Yeah, and then TM Saima Rao, she has used it once. And let me count myself as well. I've used it 30 times. No, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> I've used it 12 times. And uh, let me finish off by saying that the crux of using the word crux here in this meeting is to keep using the word crux in our life. And the most important time and the most important thing to understand the crux and the gist of our life. And with this, I think I've used it more than twice. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tosh Marshall Abdus. Thank you. Great work and great report as well. Now may I request our grammarian and our counter, Tosh Master Lisa, to present her report. Over to you, Tosh Master Lisa. Yes, thank you for giving me this new role of grammarian. I have counted the word a, and I have seen that also instead of the word a, we are using another word, which is so. I started counting this as well. I have seen Rasa using 13 times and four times so. <laughs> I have seen most of the usage of the word a ah in the table topics, which is uh, for new members and something to learn. We have used it 25 times for Yuan, uh, Surendra 22 times, Naveen 16 times, and also sometimes when we give our evaluation for Saima. 14 times, and I want to give my compliments to Arsan Javad Khan. He did not use the word a ah at all. Then I have some grammar mistakes or actually small words that we sometimes remove or that we put extra. I've seen it that that what you can see, that is what you can see. We call captain of ship, we call the captain of ship. Um, now I'm using it. <laughs> Date is 6th August or the 6th of August. Celebrate anniversary, celebrate an anniversary. Whatever situation coming to you, whatever situation is coming to you, 
no matter what coming their way, no matter what is coming their way. That I have seen with um, Ashraf. Some words, for instance, verbs, surround is imperative verb instead of surrounded, the past tense. And no one wants. It should be no one wants to. And the last thing I would like to share is that we sometimes use the word much, not in the right way. We have seen it, I have seen it twice. The first time it was uh, Ashraf who said, I have learned much about. We can use, instead of the word much, we can use the word a lot. I have learned a lot about. And Mohammed Kuti, he said it, no matter how much terrible they are, we can remove the word much. Thank you very much. I hope you can learn from this. <laughs> Thank you. Great report. Wonderful. I learned a lot from your this report. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Lisa. Now it is time to invite someone who is silently and closely monitoring us and making notes on what we excelled at and what, where we need to improve further. This person is very near and dear to my heart. He has played a crucial role in shaping my journey in the world of Toastmasters. A humble person and a great mentor. Recently, he has been honored with the District Toastmaster of the Year Award for the year 2020-2021. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and welcome Distinguished Toastmaster Hariharan Ayer for the General Evolution Report. Thank you very much, Toastmaster DTM Rupesh. Thoroughly enjoyed this meeting, must I say, and the crux of the matter is that the meeting is highly energetic. And on a Friday morning, good dose to start with. Let's begin with what the meeting had for us in terms of the positives and what are those things that we could do to make the meeting a little more positive the next time around. Fantastic. So we had the Sergeant at Arms take over. We had Toastmaster Asa come in and start the speech. Beautiful Toastmaster, sir. In fact, I love the energy. You're standing and delivering your, your introduction. You had the house rules read out. You had the mission read out. You listed down the taboo topics. What I would have done differently if I were you is I would have possibly had a small message for you in that two or three minute that I was going to be speaking to the audience. So, for example... I would pick up a nice story and knit up all of these aspects of the house rule. That entire story. So that would have given you an opportunity to deliver a speech, just like a speech. So you're preparing and delivering it. Remember the Sergeant at Arms is the only other person other than the president who speaks at every meeting. So deliver it like a speech and you'll become a better speaker. Number two, when I come to the president, DTM Rahim, you are a seasoned campaigner. I could see it right there. You opened the meeting with a beautiful message. Nicely put. I love the way you spoke about the, in fact, the crux of the meaning of that particular message itself was, was a takeaway. Introduce the guests. It is very important. You had dignitaries. You, you actually looked up to them too. You had the slides to introduce Toastmasters or so somebody new to the club knew exactly what was what was happening there. What I would have done differently is the same story that you that you had that you actually introduced the meeting with. I would have weaved the entire concept of Toastmasters around that story. So, for example, if I had have, let us say the story is going to be "Don't fear and go beyond." Uh, at the beginning or uh, the end of fear is the beginning of your of yourself or something like that and then you have the entire story around it so what do we do how do we help you kill fear how do we help you to become a better personality so that will come in your story that would help you to draft a speech in the form of a president's address and then come to the audience which will also help you to work on your speeches 
when it comes to tmod i'll come to the tmod a little later he is my friend so i can i can come to him later when i come to the word master i love the word crux i use the word crux very often when i speak in real life in normal life as well as when i am in the in my training room when i speak to people the crux of the matter itself the crux of the word crux itself is that it is a very simple word and it's very simple to remember it as well it's only four alphabet c r u x beautiful word the crux of crux is that you can use it as crux in any important situation all right let's go further the only thing that thought toastmaster the word of the day is word master is what you do is try and introduce it with with some enigma with some suspense have a picture let the picture come in get the audience to to guess the word then possibly bring in the and um, the synonyms of the word ask them to guess then bring in the antonyms ask them to guess then possibly put the word in a jumbled form let the audience guess and then you have a click of the button and then animate it and get the word then very important to get the etymology the origin of the word and the different uses of the word crux does crux have an adverb form the does crux have a adjective form so these are some important things that you can work on when i come to the speakers you all have done a brilliant job it's not easy to deliver a speech i always look up to people who deliver speeches because it's a tough job to do and you've been there doing that so i know how hard it's it to get there you doing well you doing well because you're delivering speeches that's the most important and the crux of why you're in toastmasters when i come down to the table topics master in fact she is one of the people whom i really love i really like her the way she speaks my toastmaster midat is, is is a class act when she comes on stage and you could see very specifically she had simple topics she very simply told us what's the reason we need to look at toast table topics she announced the timings correctly she followed the the toastmasters contest um guidelines of having the announce of announcing the the topic twice over handing it over to the audience the only thought i had for toastmaster midat would be do this try this with your guests possibly you can announce you can call in somebody give them a topic and then they can write who could be a member then when you call in your guests possibly announce the topic and then call them in so they'll be a little more comfortable when they're taking taking the topic because then you not have drop outs like what you had today that could be one of the things you could try evaluator i love the three evaluation so let me get into the evaluator so first evaluator you spoke about you are in, in fact evaluated the speech well so you gave the positives and you also got into area saying that the speak the speaker could actually have some pauses but when you say pauses i would suggest that you show pick up a sentence on the speech and show how that pause could be in, incorporated for example you said let us say there was a speech in there was a line in the sentence which said my mother was cooking food and i just love food so you could have said my mother was cooking food and i just love food now when you show this the speaker knows exactly what to do the next time yeah if the speaker knew the speaker would have done it the next time would would have done it but because speaker didn't do it should sure. when i come to toastmaster sm javed he is again a seasoned toastmaster you can see from the way he evaluated he had whole loads of positives that came out he very very specifically said characterization and climax in fact toastmaster sm javed possibly just tell the person how could you characterize a person so if you want to characterize a person there are two three things you can look at tall short big small that could be one of the things thick in voice thin in voice you can even look at that tall tall dark and handsome or fair and handsome you can actually have those comparisons coming in and that will help the person the next time they're making speeches when i looked at the third evaluator you said give life examples so possibly what could the speaker do for life example so you should have asked the speaker so let me ask you this have you had a situation in your life in your workplace at home when you have been a dictator dictatorial or a democratic or an altruistic leader pick up that and then draft your speech around that so when you give pointed feedback to the speaker as an evaluator you have fulfilled the crux of why you are there watching that particular speech 
and making those notes. Remember the crux of an evaluator or the evaluation role is not to only give the feedback, but to show the recommendation. And that's where you win. Now we come to the timer. Toastmaster Rasa, you took up two roles, brilliantly done, fantastic. It's not easy to take up two roles. My only suggestion is try and hand over somebody else one role and take up only one role. You might just be able to bring in another member active who is there in your entire base. The grammarian's report, I just love the way Toastmaster Lisa has done it. Toastmaster Lisa, this is your first time, I suggest. I suppose you've done a brilliant job in telling us where we did not do well and what should we have done better. I just love that. Only thing that I think you should do is keep a note of the proverbs and possibly those few idioms that get used and you can actually hammer it in at the end of the meeting. Word master, crux is a beautiful message. I told you, you came out and gave us some beautiful aspects of the last of the ending when you said, you know what, you need to keep in mind, you use the word crux, so it will become, you can actually uh, use it as a gist of your life. Beautiful, nice to cap your entire session. I thought you should have said that right at the beginning. Grammarian, beautifully put across what are the areas that we could look at, what are the areas of improvement. I love the way you'll have managed this entire show. Last, last not the least is the TMOD, Toastmaster Rupesh Tana. Toastmaster Rupesh Tana, you picked up one of those few incidents in the world that has possibly swerved the way the world has worked post-1945. In fact, you were right when you said that some of this information is not known to many. And I knew a few of them, but as you said, I'm growing old, I'm graying. Some of these names I knew. In fact, I knew it was Truman, but I thought it was Roosevelt and went and gave you the answer. Well done. You had a beautiful way of, of taking your speech around. You had that, that particular aspect being tied up to every segment. You came out with data. And you told us so many things that we didn't know. What could you do the better the next time? I only thought is you should have had a couple of pictures to show us. What did the fat boy look like? What did Hiroshima look like before and after when you said 140,000 people died? Who was Truman? What did he look like? What did the prime minister of Japan look like? So I know it is going to remain in my mind that he was the prime minister of Japan. Other than that, Toastmaster Rupesh, you've done a fantastic job in introducing all the role players. Introduce the speaker after you have possibly said something about the speaker. So don't name the speaker in advance. To all the evaluators as well, if the Toastmaster of the day is not naming the speaker when you are being called on, don't name the speaker because the ideal tendency is you have an introduction and then name the speaker. All in all, and I was all, all perspiration over me. I changed my t-shirt as I was listening to all of you. I didn't take my eyes off this meeting even for a second and I loved every role player here. There are many of them who are my favorites whom I cannot say a no to. I will always keep coming if you ask me. Keep it up. The crux of the matter is you need to be enjoying all your meetings. Thank you very much and over to you Toastmaster of the day. Huge round of applause for our generally validated distinguished Toast Marshal Hari Haran Ayer. Thank you, sir. Dear friends, today Japan marks the 76 years since nuclear attack on Hiroshima. Every August 6, which is known as A Bomb Day in Japan. The city of Hiroshima holds the peace memorial ceremony to console the victims of the atomic bombs and to pray for the realization of lasting world peace. The ceremony is held in the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park. Participants include the families of the deceased and people from all over the world. The first ceremony was held in 1947 by the then Hiroshima mayor, Shinzo Hamai. On this day, let us, let all of us pray 
for the lasting world peace. May all sentient beings be at peace. May no one suffer from illness. May all see what is auspicious. May no one suffer. Om peace, peace, peace. Thank you, Toastmaster Rasa, Toastmaster Abdus, Toastmaster Lisa, and all the role players for your kind support. Thank you, our club president, distinguished Toastmaster Muhammad Rahim, and vice president of education, distinguished Toastmaster Iram Rizvi, for giving me this opportunity. I hope you have enjoyed today's meeting. Thank you for being such an amazing audience. With this, I would like to hand over the virtual stage to our past Area 56 director, founding member, and the club sponsor of Universal Toast Masters Club, and a great servant leader with whom I have a long association. Please put your hands together and welcome our club president, distinguished Toast Master, Muhammad Rahim. Thank you very much, DTM Rupesh Tana. Round of applause for DTM Rupesh, who engage this meeting throughout and uh, provide us most information. We forget the history of, about the Hiroshima. So yes, you remind us it, and we got the idea that once nation destroy, if you have a will to get on, uh, get on your feet and again uh, bring the city as a great city of the world that what Japan, Japanese did it. Thank you very much. We are over the time and I just want to share something and thank you very much DTM Hari Haran for your detailed journal evaluation. We have noted down uh, things and we will work on it and inshallah we will see you soon in our next meeting also. I want to share some things. There is announcement. First of all, please welcome our two, uh, two new members who just joined Universal Toastmaster Club, Toastmaster Naveen Kumar and Toastmaster Hussain. Welcome to Universal Toastmaster family. Our team will approach you about your orientation session and then comes for this meetings. Everyone is a winner. Everyone is a winner, but someone have did little better than others. The first Winner is table topic speaker is goes to Toastmaster Iram Rizvi. And best evaluator is DTM S and Javed. And the best speaker awards goes to Toastmaster Bia. So before closing meetings, I want to take some feedback from our guest. How was our meeting? And we hope we did fantastic and what is your plan? You want to join and you are welcome to join and also you can attend the meetings uh, on 20 August. So I start with uh, Zainab, uh, Miss Zainab. Oh, it, it's just amazing. This is actually my second time. I actually joined a bit later, so I didn't get to hear all of the speeches, but there's this vibe. I Whenever I come to Universal, um, it, it's just a different vibe and it's so energetic and the people and everybody's so encouraging and motivating each other. So um, just, you know, keep it up and I hope to join your other meetings and yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much, madam. Now, uh, can I request Miss John to share her feedback? Miss John? Yes, it is me. Yes. Oh, thank you. I'm very happy to join you for the second time. I think uh, next time I will uh, be the uh, Toastmaster one will become the family member. So I enjoy the meeting today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, may I request uh, guest Abby? Hello. We know your feedback, but do you want to hear? <laughs> Actually, yeah, this is my second time and uh, most probably the third time is the charm. So maybe after, uh, you know, coming to the third meeting, I'll be joining as the postmaster. Uh, today's session of school, uh, I was uh, really happy that, uh, you know, um, one of the participants, Joanne, actually, last time uh, when you guys gave her the topic to speak, she was 
little bit afraid and there was a little bit of his hesitance but this time she took it and she actually completed it and i was i was really happy about it and i could see i could see a real time improvement in a person who uh, who's a guest actually so that's yes. really cool and uh, yeah this and, is the uh, magic of toastmaster if you join yeah uh and uh, like always i love miss uh, saima's review i was like actually waiting for that session like when she'll be giving a review uh and javed sir always like uh, the cool guy who gives a proper advice so that is also nice so yeah i'm uh, looking at uh, i'm i'm in lisa too this time she was uh, she was actually an uh, active participant i mean that was really nice actually so i'm actually seeing you know uh, Uh, people are participating and it's it's actually a proper session and uh, people are actually getting involved so yeah i would like to join the tribe uh, soon but uh, miss bia has been very patiently uh, explaining me things uh, through whatsapp so because of my schedule i was not able to join this time so maybe uh, after the third uh, session uh, i'll be joining okay. yeah. yeah yeah thank and, you very yeah, much the, thank you sir. hope we will see you as a member uh, may i request miss rayin rayin hi hi yeah um it was actually a very good session um when i first uh, thought of joining toastmasters it was years ago but i didn't have the nerves to um bring myself here i think uh, because it was an online session um it gave me the courage to um just just test it out and i think it was a brilliant uh, session each member um is like you know doing such a good job of being vulnerable putting their thoughts out there and working so hard and everyone is so encouraging so i personally felt like a part of it even though i'm a guest and i'm really looking forward to coming here uh, being a part of this and uh, contributing as well some sometime thank you very much thank you very much see you soon as a member of universal toastmaster club uh, may i request a uh, guest jamil for her, his feedback uh, yes uh, it was really informative session uh, and i absolutely love each and every one of you means right from the means beginning of each and every and even the feedback which the judges have given it was really great and really means i loved it i will be here for a longer period of time i am definitely means one of come over here again and again and help myself to improve with you guys you nothing else to have in the community where they can improve themselves and help other improve themselves yeah. thank you so much thank you thank you now i request guest bina bina i hope i pronounce your name correctly binia binia correct Binyam. thank you very yes. much uh it was a very very good session i got very good lesson and it was made very motivational for me to join this group and i hope uh, on the coming meeting i will take more lesson today is my first day and i would be happy to be part of the family and thank you very much okay sure inshallah so our last guest uh, we want to feedback from him it is anas anas i think he left so for the rest guest i want to uh, please share the screen take a screenshot so you can get the idea about meetings and we have also youtube channel uh let me show this okay if you want to provide your feedback you can send us an email universal toastmaster 2020 and then you also can send your feedback on facebook and you can get the picture of today meeting on facebook and if you want to know about your speech their recording will be provided on youtube channel there is the link of youtube channel and if you want to be member of universal toastmaster club you can approach to toastmaster bia her contact detail is there and if you want to attend next meeting our meeting uh, next meeting will be on 20 august you are most welcome and all meeting details and link will be shared on our meetup page with that we adjourn the meetings 
if you want to stay and ask some question we are uh, happy to answer otherwise you are free to exit